bipartite graph a simple graph g is called a bipartite graph if its vertex set v can be partitioned into two disjoint sets v1 and v2 such that every edge in a graph connects a vertex in v1 to the vertex in v2 it means if there exists a partition of a vertex set v into a disjoint set v1 and v2 such that no two vertices are adjacent in v1 as well as no two vertices in v2 are adjacent means if two vertices are adjacent in a graph then one vertex will be in a set v1 and the second is in a v2 so if we can find such partition of a vertex set v then it is called as a bipartite graph example for what value of n cn is a bipartite graph so it is important to know that cycle cn is defined for n greater than equal to 3 so consider the first case when n is equal to 3 means c3 number of vertices over here is 3 now let's try to break this vertex set into disjoint vertex vertex set v1 and v2 so take a first set v1 and the second is a v2 now take the first element from here first node that is v1 so in a first set now v1 is adjacent to v2 and v2 is adjacent to v3 but v3 is also adjacent to v1 but as per the condition of bipartite graph there are no adjacent vertices in a vertex set v1 but in this case we have adjacent vertices in a set of v1 so therefore this is not a bipartite graph so 3 c is dot a bipartite graph so for n is equal to 4 this is a cycle of a four vertices so the name are v1 v2 v3 and v4 now let's try to break this vertex set into disjoint vertices set v1 and v2 so v1 and v2 so v1 is adjacent to v2 so we will place them into the opposite set v1 this is v2 so v2 is adjacent to v3 it means they are in a opposite set so v3 is adjacent to v4 means they are in a opposite set so v4 is adjacent with v1 they are already in a opposite set so we can break this vertex set into two disjoint vertices set v1 and v2 therefore c4 is a bipartite graph now for n is equal to 5 that is c5 this is a cycle with the five vertices let's try to break this vertex set into disjoint vertex sets v1 and v2 so now v1 is connected with v2 so means they are placed in a different set so v2 is connected with v3 so they are placed in a different set so v3 is connected into v4 means v4 is placed in a v2 set so then v4 is connected with v5 so it means they are placed in a different set v5 is connected with v1 but they are in a same set due to this c5 is not a bipartite graph next is n is equal to 6 so this is a cycle with the six vertices let's break this vertex set into two sets v1 and v2 so v1 is connected with v2 so they are placed in a different set v2 is connected with v3 so place them in a different set v3 and v4 are adjacent vertices so place them in a different set v4 and v5 are adjacent vertices so v5 is in a v1 set so v5 is adjacent with v6 so place in a different set v6 is adjacent to the v1 so they are already placed in a different set so from here we can conclude that c6 is a bipartite graph
so we can observe that for n is equal to 6 n is equal to 4 the graphs are biparted whereas for n is equal to 3 and n is equal to 5 it is not a biparted graph so we can conclude that for n even provided n is not is equal to 2 cn is a biparted graph let's take a second example so in this case we need to identify whether g or h are the biparted graph so take the graph g take a vertex a in a one set v1 the adjacent vertices of a are c e f and g now take the vertex c from here from the vertex at V2. So C is adjacent to B, A and D. So A is already placed in an opposite set. So place B and D in the opposite set to C. Next, we can take any vertex from here. So let's take a B. So B is adjacent to F e and c c is already in opposite set now b is connected with f and they are already in opposite set and b is also connected with e and they are already placed in a opposite set now you can take another vertex e so e is adjacent with a b and d and they all are placed in the opposite set now take the next vertex d so D is adjacent with E. This is already placed in opposite set. D is adjacent with F. So placed in opposite set. Now connect them. Now D is connected with F. So they are already placed in opposite set. Now there is no other adjacent vertex for the D. Now move for the next vertex F. So F is adjacent with A, B and d and they all are already placed in a vertex set v1 where f is in a set v2 then move to the next vertex that is a g so g is adjacent with a and d and they already placed in a opposite set so it means the graph g is a biparted graph now for the graph h so first we will take any vertex from the edge set let's take it as a a so a is adjacent with b so place it in a opposite set so a is adjacent with e over here a is adjacent with f so join them next we can take the next vertex that is a b so b is adjacent with a already in a placed in a different set B is adjacent with F but they are in same set. So due to this H is not a biparted graph. The next simple graph is a complete biparted graph. So it's a simple graph means no multiple edges and no self loop is allowed and it is a special type of a biparted graph. Every vertex of the one set must be connected to the every vertex of the other set. It means when we are making a partition of a vertex set V into disjoint sets V1 and V2 then every vertex from the V1 set is connected with the every vertex of the V2. So such type of a graph is called as a complete biparted graph. Generally it is denoted by K complete graph and it is a biparted means M comma N where M indicates the number of vertices in first partition of the set v1 and the n indicates that number of vertices in 
v2 set for example if we say that a complete graph k2 comma 3 what does it indicate means first it is a biparted graph so there are two vertices in a v1 set and three vertices in a v2 set so take the two vertices in a v1 set suppose this is a v1 set and the three vertices in a v2 set now for the complete biparted means every vertex from the v1 is connected with the every vertex of the v2 so this is the complete biparted graph k2 comma 3 let's take another example k2 comma 4 so in the first case we will take a two vertices in the second set we will take a four vertices two vertices are in v1 set and four vertices are in v2 set so in that case connect every vertex of the v1 to the v2 and this will give you the complete graph k2 comma and this is as equal to k4 comma 2 so in that case you can take v2 as a v1 vertex set and v2 v1 as a v2 set as per the example 2 we can comment whether this is a complete biparted graph or not since it is a biparted graph for the complete biparted graph means every vertex from the v1 set is connected with the vertex v2 so a is connected with c e f and g so b vertex is connected with c e f but it is not connected with g it means g graph is a biparted graph but not a complete biparted graph next is the degree of a complete graph so for that first we will calculate the degree of this complete graph so degree of this vertex is a 3 this vertex degree is 3 h degree is 2 h degree is 2 h degree is 2 now we can say that there are two vertices of degree 3 in a v1 set and there are three vertices in a v2 set each of degree 3 so total degree in case of v1 set is 3 into 2 the total degree in the set v2 so there are three vertices of degree 2 it means this is equal to 3 into 2 now total degree of this graph is sum of these two one so that is as equal to 3 into 2 plus 3 into 2 that is is equal to 2 into 3 into 2 for the next graph so degree of this vertex is 4 degree of this vertex is 4 so there are two vertices each of degree 4 so we can say that the degree of the vertices set v1 is 4 into 2 so next calculate the degree of each vertex in a v2 set so degree of this vertex is 2 degree of this vertex is 2 degree of this vertex is 2 degree of this vertex is also 2 so there are four vertices each of degree 2 so in this case total degree is 4 into 2 now the total degree of this graph is sum of these two degrees that is 4 into 2 plus 4 into 2 that can also be written as 2 times of 4 into 2 now generalize this result for complete graph with m vertices in a one set and n vertices in a second set so there are m vertices of degree n so in that case total degree of a v1 set is m into n and in v2 set there are n vertices of degree m so in that case total degree is again m into n so now sum this one that is is equal to 2 into m into n
so the total degree of the complete graph with m vertices in a one set and n vertices in a second set is equal to twice of m into n now total number of edges so in order to calculate the total number of edges we will use the hand shaking theorem which states that number of edges is equal to total degree of a graph divided by 2 so the total number of edges in a complete graph is m into n where m indicates the number of vertices in a one set v1 and n indicates the number of vertices in a second set v2 so the next question is complete graph with m vertices in a one set and n vertices in a second set is a regular when is a regular graph when so regular graph means the degree of each vertex is same so complete graph with m vertices in a one set and n vertices in a second set is a regular when m is equal to n